one of our members, Morgan, says to me, hey, what do you think of Wild Hearts? I'm like, I, it's not on my radar. But I saw that it was on trial on EA Plus, Unlimited, Game Pass, whatever. So I downloaded it. My first couple of minutes, maybe 10 minutes with it, I was just like, oh, it's it's so... It wasn't that it was confusing, but it was just the, the user interface is a mess. And I was like, eh. But very quickly, it became awesome. And it didn't stop. I literally just now got to the end of the trial, not the time. I got as far as you can go, and they're like, hey, buy the game or not, motherfucker. You can still play around in the world, but you can't advance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait, though, and buy it on PS5, though, because I want the triggers, the haptic triggers and all that stuff for a game like this. It seems like it would matter. But I, I've seen people online, you know, and maybe if you're like a hardcore Monster Hunter fan, this is not... The best way I can think about it, I've played Monster Hunter for about 10 minutes total. It was very not welcoming. No, I don't mean like the people and stuff. I just mean the the, the interface, it's slow opening, then you have to go into a town and, you know, I just couldn't really get the big deal. And people, of course, are like, well, yeah, because it's only 10 minutes in. I'm like, well, fuck you. If you can't entertain me that fast, you don't deserve my money or my time. This game to me from, I think it's right to say, I could be wrong, but I think it's right to say, that this game is kind of like what Blizzard used to do, where they would look at a genre, whether it was RTS or collectible cards. Uh, they also did, they tried to do it with uh, Heroes of the Storm. They would kind of make a version of it that was more mainstream. It was easier to get into, it, it was easier to play and control, and it really just kind of immediately grabbed you. And all I will tell you is, I mean, if you're, let me tell you something, if you're looking at this goddamn boss fight right now, uh, and this is the final boss in the in the trial demo. If you're looking at this and you're going, eh, eh, I mean, I'm not saying this is the greatest boss battle in the world, but it is. There are so many little loops and systems in this game. Uh, it reminds me not of Elden Ring in the sense that it's it plays like Elden Ring at all. It doesn't. But there's always something else you can do that's compelling. At least so far, whether you are collecting uh, uh, items. That, they, that you then craft into things that you can use in the battle or to up your armor or to up your allies or to make your camps better or literally just hunting other animals because you need stuff to craft gear that you can then wear to fight the animal that's giving you a hard time. Again, I imagine if you're a monster hunter guy, you're like, dude, welcome to fucking 10 years ago. We know. I get it. I get it. A lot of monster hunter fans, from what I gather, aren't super happy with this uh, particular game that and they're probably right. If you want you, it's kind of like comparing a San Francisco Rush to Gran Turismo Seven. I, I, you know, if you're a hardcore aficionado of the genre, I'm sure there's all kinds of shit marbled into Monster Hunter that someone like me has no idea about and doesn't appreciate because I don't know about. It. But as a welcome mat to the genre, and maybe this will propel me into Monster Hunter, or maybe this will just be my my take on the genre that I play for a long time. Uh, I think it's fucking great. Uh, I think it's out tonight or tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be getting it, playing it with members of the stream. But I just wanted to show you some footage and tell you it's it's the knees bees, baby. It's really good. It's Wild Hearts. Hope you're well. See you soon.